adjective inverse and its number. Look at another example. Represent z and z bar f z equal 3 plus 2i z bar equal 3 minus 2i. What do you mean z bar conjugate of z? z equal 3 plus 2i, but z bar equal 3 minus 2i. Look at two orthogonal axes, perpendicular x axis and y axis. In lattice paper, we represent z 3 in real to imagine, but z bar 3 minus 2i. What you not dear student? Yes. X axis is symmetry of Z and Z bar. There is not that the two conjugate numbers are represented by two symmetry points with respect to X axis. Trigonometry, polar form of complex number. Now we are translate to another title. It's called the trigonometry or polar form of complex number. Look at the student, z equals x plus y i. x imagine, x in real, y imagine. Algebraic form, r equals, what is the r modules of z? z equals square root x power 2 plus y power 2. The student, r equals modules z equals square root x power 2 plus y power 2. Cosine theta equal x over r. When we find cosine theta, we find the value of x divided the value of r or radius. Sine theta y over r. Remember, any point belongs to x, x, y, x represent cosine, y represent sine. Tan theta y over x. r is called modules of z. Theta is called principal amplitude of Z. Trigonometry form as the form R multiply cosine theta plus I sine theta. Remember, dear student, when we find or when we want to find the trigonometry form of complex number, we can put Z as the form equals R multiply bracket contains cosine theta plus i sine theta. Example. Change each of the following algebraic form into trigonometry form. Number one, z equal root three plus i. Number two, z equal one minus root three i. Number three, z equal three i minus three. Number four, z equals negative one, negative i. Look at the solution. Remember, d is student. Look at z equals root three plus i. x equals root three. y equals one. What do you mean of y? y coefficient of imagined number. Therefore, r square root x power two plus y power two. Therefore, r equals three plus one equals root four equals what? 2, then r equals 2, then alpha y over x, 1 over root 3, equals alpha in this, if we find tan alpha equals 1 over root 3, we find alpha shift 10, 1 over root 3 equals 30 degrees, then theta equals 30, therefore Z equal two cosine thirty plus i sine thirty. Look at number two. Z equals complex number one minus root three i. What is r? Square root one power two plus negative root three for all power two equal three equals square root four equals two. What is the ten? Then alpha root three y y over x root three over one. Root three, uh, root 3 over 1, coefficient of imagine over coefficient of x, then 10 alpha equal root 3. 
What is the value of alpha 60? Why? Because tan alpha, which angle, which tan equal root 3 is 60. By using calculator, we find alpha by using shift 10, root 3, then alpha equal 60. Therefore, theta equal 360 minus 60 equal 300. Therefore, z equal 2 cosine, 2 multiply cosine 300 plus i sine 100. Number 3, if we have complex number z equal 3i minus 3, First, we find R, square root x power 2 plus y power 2, square root 18. What you mean, square root 18? Yes, R equals 3 root 2. What is the alpha? Tan alpha equals 3 over 3 equals 1. Look at what is the angle? What is the angle? It's 10, it's 10 equals 1. Good, is 45. Therefore, alpha equals 45. What you mean of the theta? 180 minus 45. Therefore, theta equals 135. Therefore, z equals, yes, 3 root 2 is r multiply bracket contains cosine 135 plus i sine 135. After that, if we have z equal negative 1, negative i, we find the first r by using square root coefficient x power 2 plus coefficient y power 2, 1 power 2, 1, negative 1 power 2, 1, plus negative 1 power 2, 1, equals square root 2. What is the tan alpha? Equals y over x. Negative 1 over negative 1 equals 1. In third, tan alpha. In third, quadrant is positive. Therefore, alpha 45. But in this case, alpha 180 minus 45 plus 100, 180 plus 45 to 125. Theta, remember, 180 plus 45 equals 225. Therefore, z equal root 2 cosine 225 plus i sine 225. Very important values study, dear student. 1 equal cosine 0 plus i sine 0. i cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Negative 1 cosine 180 plus i sine 180. Negative i equal cosine 270 plus i sine 270. Remember, this is the very important rules. One, when we represent 1 pi trigonometry form, 1 equal cosine 0 plus i sine 0. i cosine 90 plus i sine 90. We can put one as trigonometry function. The real is cosine zero. Why? Because cosine zero equals one. Imagine i sine zero, sine zero equals zero. Multiply i zero. Then one, we can represent one by cosine zero angle plus i sine zero angle. But i, cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Why? Because sine 91. Well, multiply i, i. Therefore, i, we can represent i by trigonometry form, i equal cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Negative 1, cosine 180. Why? Because cosine 180 equal negative 1. We can represent negative 1 by trigonometry form, cosine 180 plus i sine 180. Negative i equals cosine 270 plus i 200. And 70. Look at the sudden important example. Change into trigonometry form. Negative 4, 3i, negative 2i. Solution. Negative 4 equals 4 multiply negative 1. What do you mean negative 1, dear student? Yes, cosine 180 plus i sine 180. Or cosine by plus i sine pi. Then 4 multiply cosine pi plus i sine pi equals negative 4. We can represent negative 4 as trigonometry form as 4 multiply cosine pi plus i sine pi. 3i 
What do you mean of 3i? 3 multiply i. What is the i? Yes, cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Cosine 90 or cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. We represent 3i in the form 3 multiplied bracket contains cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. Negative 2i. What do you mean negative 2i? Negative 2 multiply i means 2 multiply negative i. What is the negative i by using trigonometry form? 2 multiply cosine 3, 3 pi over 2 or 270 plus i sine 3 pi over 2. Another example. Modify each of the following. Z equal 4 cosine 30 plus i sine 30. Z equal 3 multiply negative cosine 60 plus i sine 60. Z equal negative 2 cosine 300 plus i 300. Z equals cosine 120 minus sine 120. Dear students, what you mean modify? Look at theta equals 90 minus 30. In the first squared equal 60 degrees. Therefore, 4 cosine 60 plus i sine 60. Theta equals number 2, 180 minus 60 equals 120. Therefore, z equal 3 cosine 120 plus i sine 120. Number c, z equals 2 multiply negative cosine 300 minus i 300. What do you mean 100 theta? In this case, 180 plus 300. Therefore, theta equals 480. We represent for 120. Equivalent, z equals 2 cosine 120 plus i sine 120. z equals 270 plus 120 equals 300. 90, it's equivalent 30 degrees. We bought z equal cosine 30 plus i sine 30. Another solution. We can solve for what is the cosine 60 half and sine 60 root 3 over 2i. Z equals 2 multiply 2, 4 multiply half equals 2. 4 multiply root 3 over 2 equals to root 3i. Therefore, r equals what? What is the value of r? r square root x power 2 plus y power 2 equals 2 power 2 plus 2 root 3 power 2 equals root 16 equals 4. Therefore, theta equals 60. Therefore, z equals 4 cosine 60 plus i sine 60. Number b. Z equals 3 multiply negative half plus root 3 over 2i. What you mean? Z negative 3 over 2 plus 3 root 3 over 2i. What is R? R equals square root negative 3 over 2 power 2 plus 3 root 3 over 2 for all power 2 equals 9 over 4 plus square root add 27 over 4. Then R equals 3. Theta equals 120 minus 60 equals 120. 180 minus 60, 120. This value of theta degree. Then we can put z equals 3 multiply cosine 120 plus i sine 120. Number C, z equals negative 2 multiply half negative root 3 over 2i. Multiply negative 2 bracket is negative 1 plus root 3i. What is the r? X and student. r is square root negative 1 power 2 plus root 3 for all power 2 equal root root 4 equals 2. Therefore, theta equals 180 minus 60 equals 120. We can put z equals 2 multiply cosine 120 plus i sine 120. Number d Z equal root 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2i. What is R? Dear student, root 3 over 2 power 2 equals 3 over 4 plus half power 2 equals quarter. Answer is 1. In this case, we can both theta equal 30 degrees 
therefore z equal cosine 30 plus i sine 30. Dear student, look at important rules. Z1 equals R1 cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1. Z2, R2 cosine theta 2 plus I theta sine theta 2. When Z1 multiply Z2, we multiply R1 times R2 multiply cosine theta 1 plus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Dear student, we have two complex numbers, Z1, Z2. Z1, R1, cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1. Z2, R2, cosine theta 2 plus I sine theta 2. Therefore, Z1, Z2 equal R1, R2, multiply cosine theta 1 plus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1, theta 2. Z1 over Z2. We divided R1 divided R2, cosine subtract theta 1 minus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1 minus theta 2. Remember, we multiply, we multiply, we add cosine theta 1 plus theta 2 and sine theta 1 plus theta 2. But in division, we divide theta 1 minus theta 2 in cosine and sine theta 1 minus theta 2. Look at the sudden Demovar theorems. What do you mean of the Demovar theorem? Look at if we have z equals r multiply cosine theta plus i sine theta for all power n. What is the value of this number equal r power n cosine n theta plus i sine theta? Remember, the student, very important. r multiply cosine theta plus i sine theta for all power n equals r power n cosine n theta plus i sine theta, sine n theta. Number two, r multiply cosine theta plus i sine theta for all power one over k. Then we distribute power about r and about cosine sine. Answer is r power one over k cosine theta plus 360 over k plus i sine multiply m sine theta plus 360 m over k. m equals natural number 0, 1, 2, and so on. k minus 1, 2k minus 1. Solve it problems. Now we are translate solve it problems. Dear student, look at number 1. fz1 equals 2 cosine 30 plus i sine 30. Z2, 3, multiply cosine 60 plus i sine 60. Find each of Z1, Z2, Z1 over Z2, Z1 for all power 5. Solution. Remove R by using the move R. Z1, Z2, in this case we multiply Z1, multiply Z2, 2 cosine 30 plus i sine 30 times 2 cosine 60 plus i sine 30. We multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. And Z1, Z2 equals 6 cosine. We add 30 plus 60. 2 times 3, 6 cosine 30 plus 60, 90 plus i sine 90, 30 plus 60. The first required Z1 over Z2 divided 2 over 3, R1 over R2. We subtract theta 1 minus theta 2 cosine negative 30 plus i sine negative 30. Remember, cosine negative 30 is cosine 330. Sine negative 30 equivalent sine 330. We find the positive measure, negative 30, its measure, positive measure, 360 plus 360. Negative 30, sine negative 30 becomes 330. Z1 over Z2 equals two third multiply cosine 330 plus I sine 330. Number three, Z1 for all power five by using the move bar theorem. Two multiply cosine 30 plus I sine 30 for all power five. We distribute power five 
about 2 and about cosine 30 plus i sine 30. z1 bar 5 equal 2 bar 5 equal 32 cosine 5 times 30 150 plus i sine 5 multiply 30 sine 150. Dear student, look at another example. Z1 to i, Z2 cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. What do you mean by over 4? Yes, 45. Z2 equal cosine, look at Z1 to i, but Z2 cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. Find Z1 times Z2 for all power 4 in trigonometry form and algebraic form. Look at the solution. Z1 to i, what you mean? R equals to y. Because Z1, what you imagine 2. What is the real 0? R in this case equals 2. Square root 4, 2. Theta equals 30. Z1 by trigonometry form, 2 multiply cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Z1 times Z2 for all power 4, we multiply Z1, 2 multiply cosine 90 plus i sine 90, multiply cosine 45 plus i sine 45 for all power 4. In this case, Z1 multiply Z2 for, power for all power 4 equals 2 multiply cosine, yes, we add 90 plus 45, 135 plus i sine 135 for all power 4. After that, distribute the power 4, about 2 and about cosine and sine. Therefore, Z1 times Z2 for all power 4, 2 power 4, 16, cosine 540, plus I sine 540. Therefore, Z1 times Z2 for all power 4, equals 16, cosine 180, plus sine 180. Therefore, this is last in of Z1 times Z2, Z answer power 4 becomes 16 times cosine 180 plus I sine 180 is algebraic form. 16 times negative 1 times 0 equal negative 16. This is algebraic form. Dear student, look at another example. Z1 4 multiply cosine pi over 2 plus I sine pi over 2. Z2 equals 2 multiply sine 30 plus i, si, I cosine 30. Find Z1 over Z2 for all power 3 in trigonometry form. Solution. Z2 equals, for Z2, theta equals 90 minus 30 equals 60 degrees. Z2 equals, we represent by 2 multiply sine 30 plus i cosine 30. Therefore, Dear student, Z1 over Z2 for all power 3 equals what? Yes, 4 cosine 90 plus I sine 90 over 4 cosine 60 plus I sine 30 for all power 3. Remember, in division, we subtract 90 minus 60 equals 30. Therefore, Z1 over Z2 for all power 3 equals 2 multiply cosine 30 plus I sine 30 for all power 3 equals we distribute power 3 about 2 and about cosine 30 and sine 30. Answer is 2 power 3 equals 8 cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Use the far theorem to find square root of the number z equals 2 plus 2 root 3i. In a sudden, very important example. Look at the solution. Look at the square root of z equals 1 plus 2 root 3i for all power 1 over 2. 4 multiply cosine 60. Yes, multiply plus i sine 60 for all power 1 over 2. Therefore, r equals square root 4 plus 12 equals 4. Square root 16 equals 4. We can put theta equals 60. Z equals 2 cosine 60 plus 360m over 2 plus i sine 60 plus 360 over 2 over m. Remember, m equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. At m equals 0, 
the first root becomes 2 cosine 90 plus i sine 90. Root 3 plus i. At m equals 1, therefore second root is 2 cosine multiply m by 1 or distribute m by substitution about m equals 1. Z equals 2 cosine 210 plus i sine 210 equals negative root 3 negative i.